it's Addie, and today we are watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I am ready for some fun, silly entertainment today. I've gotten so many recommendations and requests for this movie. So here we are, finally watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I see here that this was made, released in 1975. So it's kind of crazy to me that this movie is nearly 50 years old and clearly still stands the test of time and is still so iconic and quotable and is still so loved uh, by everyone, it seems. So I'm very excited to finally watch it to maybe get some references that I've heard before, kind of make some connections there. And really just to see what all of the fun is about with Monty Python and the Holy Grail. These subtitles at the bottom. Signed Richard M. Nixon. Okay, great. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> we apologize again. Moose trained. I love how it's still going. <laughs> Special moose effects, moose costumes. This reaction is apparently just me reading the subtitles. This is already so entertaining and the movie hasn't even started yet. Whoa now. I thought for sure there was a horse involved with this. Oh my gosh. Who needs a horse when you can just make the sound yourself? Arthur, son of Uther Pendragon from the castle of Camelot. And this is my trusty servant, Patsy, in search of knights who will Hi, join Patsy. me in my court at Camelot. You're using coconut. What? <laughs> You've got That's two true. empty halves of coconut and you're banging them together. He called you out. We found them. Found them? In Mercia, the coconut's tropical. Well, <laughs> this is a temperate zone. The swallow may fly south with the sun, yet these are not strangers to our land. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? They could be carried. What? A swallow <laughs> carrying a coconut? Why not? Listen, in order to maintain airspeed velocity, a swallow... <laughs> He's still going on with this. Am I right? I'm you not know interested. a lot about swallows, apparently. could be carried by an African swallow, not a European swallow, that's my point. Oh yeah, I agree with that. Why do they know so much about swallows? Supposing two swallows carried it together. No, hey, teamwork. Oh, I'm not dead. What? Oh my gosh, he's not dead. Efforts. I'm not dead. We'll be soon. He's very ill. I'm getting better. No, you're not. You'll be stone dead in a moment. I feel happy. Ah, oh, thanks very much. Not all. Is he dead now? Poor guy. Old woman! Man! Ma'am, sorry. I'm 37, I'm not old. Oh. I was about to say, that wasn't the question. What I object to is you automatically treat me like an inferior. Well, I am king, and how do you get that, eh? By exploiting the work. The coconuts are just slow coconuts now. I am Arthur, king of the Britons. I thought we were an autonomous collective. You're fooling yourself. We're living in a dictatorship. We're an anarcho-syndicalist commune. We take it in turns to act as a sort of executive officer for the week. Be quiet. It. I order you to be quiet. Order? Who does he think he is? <laughs> I'm your the king. king? <laughs> well, how do you become king, then? The Lady of the Lake held aloft Excalibur from the bosom of the water. Strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Fair. Now we see the violence inherent in the system. Shut up! Oh, help, help! I'm being repressed! Do you see him repressing me? You saw it, didn't you? <laughs> Moving on. Uh. Is this actually fighting or just play fighting? <laughs> okay. We are fighting to the death, apparently. I seek the finest and the bravest knights in the land to join me in my court at Camelot. Will you join me? Any response? You make me sad. So be it. <laughs> Come, Patsy. You make me sad. But I must cross this bridge. Then you shall die. Also, it's a pretty tiny bridge to be fighting over. 
Oh, oh, oh. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? That's your arm. <laughs> Victory is mine. We thank thee, Lord, that in thy mercy. <laughs> oh, we're still Come fighting on, with our legs. Okay. What? And you've got no arms left. Yes, I have. Look. Just a flesh wound. I'd say it's a little bit more than that. Right. We're literally gonna have to cut his legs off. Oh my gosh. Right. I'll do you for that. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> I think we're gonna cross this bridge. We we'll call it a draw. Come, Patsy. Running away, eh? I'll bite your legs off. <laughs> Run away. Oh my gosh, he's testing the swallows. Oh my gosh. We have found the witch! May we burn, huh? Burn! Not a witch! Isn't even her nose! Witch. But you are dressed as one. They dressed me up like this. They really tried to do her. Well, we did do the nose. And the hat. She has got a wart. What makes yes, you think she's a witch? Yes, that makes you a, a witch. Oh, well, she turned me into a newt! I got better. <laughs> burn already! Burn. So let's say you kind of look human. What do you do with witches? Burn already! Burn. Are we gonna have to burn her to test if she's a witch? Why do witches burn? Because they're made of wood. Good! Oh, yeah. Where are you going with this? I, I guess a wood sink in water. No, 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 it floats! What also floats in water? A duck weighs the same as a duck. She's made of wood. And therefore, a witch! A witch! This poor woman, she's gonna die either way. It's a fair crop. Who are you? Who are so wise in the ways of science? I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Will you come with me to Camelot and join us at the round table? I would be honored. The wise Sabedivir was the first to join King Arthur's knights. The book of the film. Sir Lancelot the Brave. Sir Galahad the Pure. And Sir Robin, the not quite so brave as Sir Lancelot, whose names and deeds were to be retold throughout the centuries. What is happening? Can we talk about what the hand was? What? Let us ride to Camelot. We dance for everything. We have we have a little song. And a little dance. Oh, oh poor guy. No, on second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. That was amazing. Arthur, King of the Britons. Oh, don't grovel. One thing I can't stand is people groveling. Sorry. Behold, Arthur, this is the Holy Grail. Mm, here we Look go. Look well, Arthur. The quest for the Holy Grail. Oh, we have many coconuts now. <laughs> we needed some help. Hello! Go and tell your master that we have been charged by God with a sacred quest. Uh, he's already got one, you see? It's very nice. <laughs> I told him we already got one. <laughs> Can we come up and have a look? Of course not. Okay. If you will not show us the grail, we shall take your castle by force. Oh, this is about to start a war. What a strange person. Now look <laughs> here, my good man. I don't want to talk to you no more. There's someone else up there we could talk to. No, now go no, away no or one I else. taunt you a second time. <laughs> I don't think we want that. Oh, no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this poor cow! Right. I have a plan, sir. Ooh. We have a little Trojan horse. Or it doesn't really look like a horse. It's working. Is there anyone in it, though? Lancelot, uh, Galahad, and I uh, wait until nightfall and then leap out of the rabbit. Oh no, no one's in there. Look, look, if we built this large wooden badger. Oh no, oh no, please don't land on them. That poor guy. 
Defeat at the castle seems to have utterly disheartened King Arthur. Famous historian. And Arthur became convinced that a new strategy was required. <laughs> So each of the knights went their separate ways. What? Just, just to, um, just to pass through, good tonight. Passing? I'm no, afraid no, no, not. No. I am a knight of the round table. You're a knight, knight of the round table? table. In that case, I shall have, have to kill you. you. Shall I? Oh, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. We do it together. Quick, Quick, get the sword out. I want to cut his head off. Oh, cut your own oh. head off. Yes, do us all fun. a favor. What? Kill him anyway. Right. And they're gone. <laughs> the tale of Sir Galahad. Let's see what Galahad is up to. Oh. This looks promising. Hello. Hello. Welcome, oh. gentle Sir Knight. Welcome to the Castle Anthrax. Anthrax? Oh no. It's not a very good name, is it? No. Oh, but we are nice. I, what is uh, your name, handsome knight? A uh, Sir Galahad, the chaste. Mine is Zoot. Just Ooh. Zoot. Hi, Zoot. With the name Anthrax, I'm worried that they are going to kill him. We are but eight score young blondes and brunettes, cut off in this castle with no one to protect us. They're doctors? Uh, they have a basic medical training, yes. <laughs> Try to relax. Are you sure that's absolutely necessary? I am small to just Back to your bed, I have seen... Oh. Oh. oh, what's happening here? Oh. Hello. We could just forget our mission and stay here. That's always an option. <laughs> he does not know what to do. I seek the grail. I have seen do they it have here the grail in this castle. Bad, bad suit. What is it? She has been setting a light to our beacon, which I've just remembered is grail-shaped. Um, ah uh, yes, grail-shaped. Oh, she is a bad person and must pay the penalty! What is the penalty? Do you think this scene should have been cut? It's better than some of the previous scenes, I think. At least ours was better visually. Oh. Get on with it! Oh. Get on with it! <laughs> We have but one punishment for setting alight the grail-shaped beacon. Spank her. Spank, spank me. And spank me. And me. And me. Oh, yes, they are yes. very excited about oh, this. Good spank her. Quick, why? You're in great peril. No, he was. isn't. Silence, foul temptress. I think he wants to stay here. I can defeat them. There's only 150 of them. Yes, yes. He'll beat us easily. Oh, shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, King Arthur and Sir Bedivere are not more than a swallow's flight away. Where is the grail? <laughs> Seek you the bridge of death. <laughs> Who were you talking to? Was that real? Are they just hallucinating? No, not the knights who say ni. The same. Oh no, not them. The knights who say ni. Demand a sacrifice. Well, what is it you want? We want a shrubbery. Shrubbery? We will return with a shrubbery. One that looks nice. Of course. <laughs> and okay. not too expensive. Yes. Go! Oh, this poor historian. One day, lad, all this will be yours. I don't want any of that. I'd rather... Rather what? I'd rather just... <laughs> in 20 minutes, you're getting married to a girl whose father owns the biggest tracts of open land in Britain. Make sure the prince doesn't leave this room until I come and get him. Until you come and get him, we're not to enter the room. You stay in the room and make sure he doesn't leave. And you'll come and get him. Yes. Right. Oh, if... Oh. You just, just don't stay let him leave the room. And make sure he doesn't leave the room. They're absolutely going to let him leave the room. And uh, make sure he doesn't leave. What? <laughs> make sure he doesn't That's leave. That's the whole point. No, no, no. Where are you no. going? And make sure he doesn't leave. Oh, I see, right. I'm no singing. They never said anything about him leaving through the window. Oh, he's about to send a message. <laughs> like it never happened. Message for you, sir. Poor guy. 
offer this little message. Please come and rescue me, Swamp Castle, at last! You shall not have died in vain! Uh, He's still alive. I'm not quite dead, sir. No, I feel fine, actually. Farewell, sweet Concord! I'll just stay here then, shall I, sir? Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, no. Still running. It's literally just the same clip over and over. Oh! I don't think we need to just kill random people on the way. Yeah, I don't think we need to do this. Oh, fair one. Behold your humble servant, Sir Lancelot of Camelot. You've come to rescue me! Stop that! Stop that! Stop it! Stop it! No singing! He's come to rescue me, father! Well, let's not jump to conclusions. Did you kill all those guards? You killed eight wedding guests and all? Yeah. You only killed the bride's father, that's all? Well, I really didn't mean to. Didn't mean to? It was an accident. Would you, uh, like to come and have a drink? Well, that, that's, uh, awfully nice of you. Understanding. Oh no! Um, when I'm in this idiom, I sometimes. Oh no! After all of this, and he just falls from the tower. Oh bloody hell! Yeah, I don't think they're too happy with you. So now we have to kill more people. Oh no! Sorry, <laughs> sorry. It was an accident. Sorry, everyone. We are here today to witness the union of two young people. Since the tragic death of her father, he's not quite dead. He's getting better! Oh, he's died! Yeah, he's dead now. Feel much better. You fell out of the tall tower, you creep! Well, I'll tell you. Not like that. In song! Well, we need to work on the landing. Is there anywhere in this town where we could buy a shrubbery? Who oh, shall no! Not the shrubbery! My friend and I will say nick. Ah, yeah. Do your worst! No! No, 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 Hi, Roger. Oh, Knights of Nick, we have brought you your shrubbery. It is a good shrubbery. I like the laurels particularly. We are now the Knights of Say. What? You must find another shrubbery! No! Not another shrubbery! You must cut down the mightiest tree in the forest with a herring! What? It's not possible! It can't be done! Ah, 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 ah. Don't say that word! What word? What? I yes. cannot tell! How can we not say the word if you don't tell us what it is? Ah, it again! What is? Again. is jacking it oh, in. hi! Jacking it up. Our friend! It's good to see you! Oh, he's done the word! Surely you have not given up your quest for the Holy Grail? I was looking for it. Ah. It? Is that the word? I said it! I said it! Oh, oh no! You're it. still saying it! That's three it! Oh. Ah, poor guy. What? Oh no, we don't want to mess with him. What manner of man are you that can summon up fire without flint or tinder? There are some who call me Tim. Greetings, Tim the Enchanter. Greetings! What a majestic name. You seek the Holy Grail. That is our quest. Why are you doing this, Tim? Why? I don't suppose you could uh, tell us where we might find a, um... A, 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 a... a grail? Yes. To the north there lies a cave. The entrance to this cave is guarded by a creature. So foul, death awaits you all with nasty, big, pointy teeth. Okay. Okay. Keep me covered. Too late. Uh, there there is. Here? Where? There. This tiny little rabbit. I saw my arm and I was so scared. Look, that rabbit's <laughs> got a vicious street a mile wide. Go on, boys, chop his head off. Right. Oh, that's right, though. There are a lot of bones. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's not a cute rabbit anymore. Not cute. Oh my gosh, how many of us are about to die? Oh, oh no! I 
At least three of us are down. We have the holy hand grenade. Yes, of course. The holy hand grenade of Antioch. First, shalt thou take out the holy pin. Then, shalt thou count to three. No more, no less. And the number of the counting shall be three. Three. Four. Oh no. Okay, we can skip ahead a little bit more. Once the number three, being the third number, be reached. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Right. One, two, five. Please, uh, no, three. No, oh, we're... Okay, hopefully it still works. Gosh. That shouldn't have scared me. I knew it was coming. There, look. Mm -hmm. What does it say? He who is valiant may find the Holy Grail in the castle of... Uh, he must have died while carving it. No! Oh. They don't know where to look! Perhaps he was dictating. Oh, shut up. Well, does it say anything else? No! Uh, oh, no, no, no. Ah, at the no. back of the throat. No, I think something's back there. My God! What? It's the... It's the creature! Eyes. When suddenly the animator suffered a fatal heart attack. Okay, well that looked out for you guys. Ooh, they're catching up. The bridge of death. It's finally oh, right. here. But what if you get a question wrong? What are these questions going to be? Into the gorge of eternal peril. Why doesn't Lancelot go? Yes, let me go, my liege. I will take it single-handed. Who would cross the bridge of death must answer me these questions three. What is your name? My name is Sir Lancelot. What is your quest? Grail. What is your favorite color? Blue. Fine, off you go. Wait, those are the three questions? Well, that was easy. That's easy! Ask me the questions, bridge keeper. I'm not afraid. Your name? Sir Robin of Camelot. What? Is the capital of Assyria. I so don't you know that. For. So some of the questions are a little bit harder than others. What is your name? Sir Galahad of Camelot. What is your favorite color? Blue. Okay. No. Okay, so even the easy questions aren't necessarily easy. Good to know. Stop. What is your name? It is Arthur, King of the Britons. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? An African or European swallow? I don't know that. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that you asked a question. You have to know these things when you're a king, you know. Can, can we get back to it? I'm kind of worried for them. Lancelot! Oh, where did he go? Oh no! They caught up. We're about to find the grail. Our quest is at an end. We thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed to us. Jesus Christ! Hey, Lord! No. How dare you profane this place How with your prayer? How did they prim? get here? Open the doors of this sacred castle to which do that. God himself has guided us. I'll wave my private pats at your aunties. If you do not open this door, we shall take this castle by force. Oh, no. Walk away. Just ignore them. No, remain there, an illegitimate face to banner folk. Literally, several of them died. We shall attack at that. once. Stand by for attack. We have a full army now? We shall not stop our fight till each one of you lies dead. Oh. They're gonna stop this whole thing. So we're not going to get the Holy Grail at all. Get a blanket. All right, Sonny, that's enough. Just pack that in. Wait, is this really the end of the movie? Is this really the end? Oh my gosh. That was really the end of the movie. Really and truly. All of that, the entire movie, and they don't even get the Holy Grail. Wow, I thought, I thought for sure at least they would find the Grail. <laughs> they did it. That's kind of an amazing ending that the police just stopped all of it all together and arrested them. I mean, we saw it coming. They were after them. <laughs> they didn't even get the Holy Grail. That is amazing. I loved how how much they broke the fourth wall. Just 
I mean, literally throughout the movie, throughout all of the scenes. I loved all of the animation throughout and how it helped tell the story and how it helped go through scene by scene. And I don't know, they just broke the fourth wall so much. And I loved the 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 tower, the castle with all of the women, how she just fully broke and started talking about the scene. And then all of the other future scenes were talking about just go on with it. I mean, there are just so many amazing moments through this movie. And it's just so ridiculous and so silly. And it's no wonder that it's so popular almost 50 years later. Because I mean, just the movie is iconic. All of the scenes are iconic. And I feel like anytime I watch it in the future, like it'll just get better and better because it, it's such a quotable movie. So the more familiar I am with it, I feel like it would just be more fun to watch each and every time. I just can't get over the fact that they didn't even get the Holy Grail throughout all of it. Literally most of their, most of the Knights of the Round Table literally died on this quest and they didn't even get there because the French were just one step ahead, I guess. This movie's amazing. I understand why so many people love it. And honestly, I can't wait to watch it again already. Well, this was Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.